when we went to see the Kempton Steam Museum, we also came across the Hampton Kempton Waterworks Railway. We came across some wonderful, wonderful volunteers. And they give up their free time to help restore these engines and to keep the wonderful dream alive. We have noticed that there is a two, two, but actually more. There's about three. I think there actually might be more. Steam engines here. Like train steam engines, locomotives. So we're gonna, gonna have to go look at them, maybe even a ride. Adorable little steam train I've ever seen. Look at it. Look at all the little pipes. <laughs> Don't come for a ride, right, though. Yeah, this is the right. I think I'm going on the ride. Then we heard another steam engine, so off we shot! They were getting ready for their 10th anniversary celebration gala weekend to make sure the engines all tip condition. I was then lucky enough to be asked to go for a ride. I'd love to. I went on the Thomas Wicksteed locomotive that first opened the place 10 years ago. I've never actually been on a steam engine, I've only been on diesels or, you know, stuff like that. But now I'm going on two in the matter of not even probably 10 minutes. Here it comes. Normally resides at Kew Steam Museum. If you're into your steam engines, even if you're not, this is the place to visit. I do think they have a diesel one. It's an absolutely beautiful place with beautiful scenery. And the engines are wonderful and the volunteers are so nice and helpful. There's so much other things to see and you have to just go for a ride.
They enjoy that. Yeah. I think that's the second time now today. Oh, for having my whole life. I've been on the sleeve engines here. These carri and carriages and, and coal buckets. These were actually, literally, were the ones that they used to take coal to the massive, big um, triple expansion steam thing we just looked round. The um, Cape to Steam Museum. That's the word. These were actually the ones that took it. I can't believe you only told me. Look at all these old carriages. And just ha the fact is that they were used to take the coal for the um, st um, the, the um, engine. So it's been exactly 10 years since they did the um, since they've set all this up and, uh, and maybe the um, museum, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I, I'm not entirely sure. I think mainly this though, I might, I might be wrong about the museum. Um, but that's why they're setting all this up and they're going to be doing something really, really exciting with the steam engine and another one. You can see what they're up to because I think they're up to something really exciting. And then couple two together it was such an awesome sight I've never seen it been done before And then Thomas Wickstein needed some more water, he was really thirsty. Yeah. The machines are absolutely perfect, they've been restored to such a beautiful and perfect condition. Here comes Thomas's drink. That's where the trip is. Alright. We've got no uh, treatment with us, so. That's right. Yeah, the um, the Wren locomotive, Thomas Wexteed, that's got what they call rust pop safety valves on it. So when they go, they tend to go with a bit of a bang and make everybody jump. The other engine, Darren, and the red one, that's got an older ram spot on the safety valve and they set off gently. But at the moment, you might hear in the background that it's hissing, perhaps the valve's just starting to lift. And with this one, if it's doing that, bang! <laughs> really good. Yep, yeah, ready when you are. Thank 
time. I've just been on the steam engine twice. I cannot believe it. Uh, what a wonderful place to go. Roger. Roger. I can't see. Can they get it off? Is it incredible to see two attachments? I didn't even know they did this. Here we go. watching and please try to raise your see more brilliant battles like this but most importantly see you tomorrow for in all in steam let's go i mean for tomorrow thank you bye <laughs>